Here are the latest numbers on the current U.S. median income. $70,784 a year. That means half the population makes less than that. Half the population makes more than that. And now this news. Toyota executives think the average new car price will top $50,000 in 2023. Yes, the average brand new car price in the U.S. is expected to rise above $50,000 this year. And executives at Toyota's North American operations anticipate this trend will continue. This increase in price is likely to occur despite the recovery in the supply chain and is expected that demand will outstrip supply again this year. Furthermore, there are 6 million potential new vehicle buyers being sidelined by inventory and pricing. So Jack Hollis, he's the head of sales for Toyota Motor North America. He's given an update on the automaker's business. He's indicating that 2023 is expected to see Toyota and Lexus pick up another 100,000 sales above the 2.1 million that they sold in the U.S. last year. Good for them, right? However, it is possible that there could be a slight drop in Toyota's market share, he says. This year would likely be divided into two halves. The first half falling short of last year and the second half being above last year. Listen to this. He expects the automaker to finish the year with about 30,000 vehicles in inventory sitting on dealership lots with continuing strong consumer demand, meaning we will sell every vehicle that we can make. There's also indications, now pay attention here, indications that used vehicle demand will be strengthened by would-be new vehicle shoppers being priced out of the market. However, the totality of the supply chain and its fragility is the only thing holding back the industry, he says. If the industry were not constrained by supply issues, it could sell, he says, 16.7 to 17 million cars in the U.S. this year, which would be incredible. Either way, that's the expectation for 2023. New car prices on average over 50 grand. We already have monthly payments over 700 bucks. I don't know how Americans are going to be able to pay for this or afford this. They're going to be stuck buying used vehicles with less reliability, more wear and tear. New car prices are just obscene. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comment section below. I've got 10 cars that are so priced above MSRP, it'll make your head spin. Dealers are just greedy right now. This is ridiculous. Some are priced between 20 and 27% above MSRP. Dealers, what are you thinking? All right, the average new car is priced 8.8% above MSRP as of right now. The 10 most expensive new models, again, between 20 and 27% above MSRP. If there's any good news here, the gap between dealer pricing and MSRP is slowly narrowing. According to a new study by iccars.com, they found that manufacturer pricing for new cars has increased 7.6% in the past year from an average MSRP of 38 grand in February of last year to just over 42,000 in February of this year. And that is just the manufacturer pricing, not the dealer pricing. Look at this chart here, the monthly average dealer price versus the average MSRP of new cars. And despite this increase, the average dealer listing price for new cars has increased 6.5%, rising from there you see 42.5, upwards of almost 45 and change. In February of 2023, 45,296. That's where we get the 8.8% above MSRP. There are two pieces of encouraging news for you. First, average MSRP seems to have either peaked or plateaued in January 2023, coming down slightly in February. Second, the pricing increase over MSRP peaked back in July of 2022 at 10.2% .2 over MSRP, which was ridiculous back then. Relative pricing has fallen ever since, with the average new car price now at 8.8% above MSRP. Quote from iccars.com, the difference between dealer pricing and MSRP should continue to fall as the supply chain improves, though getting back to MSRP for most models may not happen in 2023. So at this point, you're lucky to find something at 8.8% over MSRP, which is the average. But here are the vehicles to avoid because they are between 20 and 27% above MSRP. Here is that list, starting with number 10 with the Lexus RX 350H. The average MSRP, 49,339, but the average price is 20% over MSRP at nearly 60 grand. At number nine, Cadillac CT5, 41,8, but actually 50,383, 
20.3% over MSRP. The next one is also 20% over MSRP. That's the Porsche Macan, 61.5 normally, but they're adding another, what, 13 grand on top of that to make it 74 to 75. The next three vehicles are 21% over MSRP. The Genesis GV80, Cadillac CT4V, and the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, nearly 22% over MSRP at 55 347 The next two are 22.5% over MSRP. Porsche Taycan, yeah, 122 grand average price. Normally, MSRP, 100 grand. Mercedes-Benz GLB, 41, now 50, 452, 22.9%. Jeep Wrangler, here at number two, 44, almost 44,400, 23.9% over MSRP. Are you going to buy one of those when you can normally or you should be able to get it at 35.8? And the most expensive vehicle over MSRP right now, brand new Genesis GV70, 27.5% over MSRP. Get one of those for 56 grand and change. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you, giving you a lot of bad news. Here are the 10 cars priced closest to MSRP. Again, the new car average is 8.8% over MSRP. These are the 10 that are priced closest to the MSRP. This is what the dealers are charging for the vehicle closest to MSRP. Here they are, the top 10. The best deal on this list is actually below MSRP. That's a Chevy Silverado 1500, right around 50 grand no matter what, but it's actually under MSRP is what the dealers are asking for. You get the Volkswagen Arteon at number two, that two under the MSRP asking price. So is the Cadillac Lyric. Infiniti QX80, right there even. Sierra 1500, just barely over MSRP for a new one of those. And then they're right around 2 to 1% over. You got the Malibu F-150 Hybrid, Traverse, Buick Envision, and then the Mazda CX-9 rounding out the top 10 vehicles priced closest to MSRP. To find deals in your area, simply go to quotes.everymandriver.com, quotes everymandriver.com is a free search engine. Look for these vehicles that you want to buy, probably the ones that are closest to MSRP, to see what's being offered in your area. These are the closest numbers I have right now. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, expand your zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles, a few hundred miles. You could save hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars on a brand new vehicle right now. But according to this latest information, there's a lot of vehicles still priced well over MSRP. I don't know what the dealers are thinking, but their odds are they're not going to sell those cars. They're going to bring those prices down eventually, but not anytime soon. You can find a link to this study from iccars.com in the description below this video. They also have new cars priced the highest above MSRP, broken down by city. Here's a couple of highlights. Uh, in San Diego, the Maverick from Ford, 40% above MSRP. That's about a $10,000 price increase. Here's a few more. Genesis GV70, we talked about that one already, 31% over MSRP in St. Louis, as well as Los Angeles, Portland, Oregon, my hometown, 30% over MSRP for Ford Maverick. You go down to, let's see, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Jeep Wrangler, 27% over MSRP, so they're adding another $9,600 to that one. Uh, the Maverick and Wrangler and GV70, these are the ones that are the most expensive, so you can see this full list by going to the link below this video from iccars.com. Anyways, thanks for watching. Good luck shopping. See you next time. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe. And give us a thumbs up. See you next time.